ってちょすいませんシンランショニ was born at Hino, southeast of Kyoto, in 1173. In the first scene of the illustrated biography of Shinran, Honganji's Shonin, anguished faces of people are vividly drawn. The lives of the people then were reduced to great want, due not only to the battles and the political turmoil between aristocracy and warrior rule. But also extraordinary natural phenomena and severe drought. It is said that several tens of thousands of corpses were seen everywhere in Kyoto. The novel Shinran, written by Itsuki Hiroyuki, depicts the conversation of adults living in the shadow of society as follows I'm not the only one who goes to hell. You, Kawarabo, and everyone share this fate. Killing is our job. We are not like eminent monks somewhere. This Kawarabo sells ripped clothes of dead. You threaten people with telling a number of lies, sell bad medicine, and earn money from prayer. We are just like river cobbles and pebbles. We are rascals. Where else can we go besides hell? Shinra Shoni was born into a world where both living and dying. Were hell. He was born in a middle class aristocrat Hina family, a minor branch of the Fujiwara clan. But his father was involved with the political conflicts that accompanied the rise to power of the warrior class, and young Shinran decided to enter the monkhood of Mount Hiei. He was nine years old. Shinran, who became a monk at Mount Hiei, devoted himself to the Buddhist practices as a doso, a type of temple monk functioning in the Jongyo Zanmaido or Hall of Perpetual Nembuts at the Shuryo Going in the Yokawa area. Although he became so concerned for his Buddhahood until the age of 29, he could not find his future deliverance. He secluded himself in the Rokkakudo, founded by Prince Shotoku, for a hundred days. At the dawn on the 95th day, he received a visionary message from Prince Shotoku, which led him to Honen Shonin. Honen was also a monk at Mount Hie, but he descended Mount Hie and began to teach the solo practice of saying the name of Amida Buddha, regardless of age. Rank, man or woman, young or old, at Yoshimi's in the eastern hills of Kyoto. Shinran Shonin regarded himself a faithful disciple of Hone through his study with him. During his study at Yoshimi's, there was a woman disciple named Eshin. Shinran Shonin fell in love with her and struggled with his position as a Buddhist monk. Honen Shonin was flexible with the lifestyle of his disciples, even though he himself was celibate. People should always live by creating the proper condition for being able to say the Nembuts. If you cannot say the Nembuts as a celibate, say it by getting married. If you cannot say it by being married, say it as a celibate. 
food, clothing, and shelter are necessary only insofar as they create the proper condition for people to say the names. Shinran Shonin chose the way to get married. This choice of his life greatly influenced the meaning of Jodo Shinshu Buddhism. In 1207, however, Kofukuji Temple in Nara petitions the imperial court and the retired emperor Gotobain exiled Honen's Nembu's group and banned his teaching. Four disciples were executed and eight disciples including Shinran Shonin were exiled. He was given a lay name and moved to Echigo. He walked along the seashore of Toyama. There is a place named Ashiaraigata in Imizu city where Shinran Shonin took transportation the rest of the way. Incidentally, it has been reified that the grandfather of Eshinni, Miyoshi Tameyasu, was from Imizu area. In 1211, after five years in exile, Shinran Shonin was pardoned. He did not return to Kyoto, but moved with his family to Hitachi province in the Kanto region. He spread the teaching there and built a large following. At the age of 62, he left Kanto and returned to Kyoto. After his return to Kyoto, he copied and wrote many works like Essentials of Faith Alone, Three Volumes of Hymns, and so forth. He also wrote letters to his disciples in the Kanto region. He continuously added and revised his main work, the revealing on two teaching, practice, and realization, until his late life. On January 16, 1263, he was born in the Pure Land at the age of 90, tended by his daughter Kakshinni at his brother's place. Now, what Shinran Shonin revealed all of his life are, first, the true reality of human life. Second, the meaning and activity of Amida Buddha's work. The true reality of human life is that we are full of ignorance and blind passions. Our desires are countless and anger, wrath, jealousy, and envy are overwhelming rising without pause to the very last moment of life. That is the essence of the foolish being that has no chance to be saved and can do nothing but committing evil. Amida Buddha established the vow that he cannot help saving foolish beings like us. Namo Amida Buddha has become the great vow itself that saves the one who entrusts in the vow and says his name. The way one who can never be a Buddha becomes Buddha. Shinran Shonin found the true essence in this great antinomy. In this understanding, because no self-calculation could never be mixed, it is called the other power, Tariki. It has almost been 750 years since Shinran Shonin passed away, but how has his teaching guided us and what has it fostered? At first, the Nimbus teaching guided us to the life that responds in gratitude. One who has realized that no effort helps us to be saved feels all of one's life is based on the other power, Tariki. This feeling bore a Japanese expression, Sasete Itadaku. This unique expression does not exist in any other language. It came from the realization of my single action is performed by the working of Amida Buddha. This expression comes from the practice of gratitude. It is also said that the Omi peddlers, devoted Jodo Shinshu followers, and the founder of the great enterprises created this expression through their religious life and business. Next, Shinra's teaching has been guiding us to the life that denies prayer. He regards all our various actions like fortune-telling and praying for happiness or luck as practice mixed with poison. His thought severely denies it and shows us the difference between our wish and Amida's vow. Concretely speaking, we don't pray to other gods and Buddhas and we don't need fortune-telling and chemistry. 
Shin Dan Shonin admonishes this self-centered interpretation of Buddhism. Finally, at the memorial service for founder Shin Dan Shonin's Ho-Onko service, there are Ho-Onko dishes through which we taste his life. One is called Itokoni, boiled cousin dish, cooked with his favorite azuki beans and various root crops. Burdock root represents cane. Shiitake mushroom represents a sage hat. Deep fried bean curd means waraji sandals. These ingredients represent his itinerant life. All Hongko food is first fruit and offered in the main hall. We enjoy the dish after the service in gratitude. There are many other things Jodo Shinshu has fostered due to the great change of social structures in several decades, rural to urban migration, standardization and flood of information by television, internet. It has been difficult to convey the cultural impact of Shinnan Shonin. We wish that each of you who live in the time of turmoil would face to Shinnan Shonin through this rare opportunity of his 700 50th memorial service. Namo Amida Buddha. Namo Amida Buddha. Namo Amida Buddha. Namo Amida Buddha.